we continue our progressive reading of Evangelii Gaudium by Pope Francis, The Joy of the Gospel, Proclamation of the Gospel in Today's World. Personalizing the Word, paragraph 150. Jesus was angered by those supposed teachers who demanded much of others, <clears throat> teaching God's word but without being enlightened by it. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves will not lift a finger to move them. Matthew chapter 23, verse 4. The Apostle James exhorted, Not many of you should become teachers, my brethren, for you know that we who teach shall be judged with greater strictness. James letter, verse 3, uh, chapter 3, verse 1. Whoever wants to preach must first be must, fir must be fir the first to let the word of God move him deeply and become incarnate in his daily life. In this way, preaching will consist in that activity, so intense and fruitful, which is communicating to others what one has contemplated. For all the reasons, before preparing what we will actually say when preaching, we need to let ourselves be penetrated by that word which will also penetrate others, for it is a living and active word, like a sword which pierces to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart, as St. Paul put it in his letter to the Hebrews, chapter verse 12. This has great pastoral importance. Today, too, people prefer to listen to witnesses. They first, they thirst for authenticity, authenticity and call for evangelizers to speak of a God whom they themselves know and are familiar with, as if they were seeing Him. What Pope Francis said, said, is so magnificent, magnificently shown in the preaching of the Apostles after Pentecost, uh, when the Church was born. They welcomed the Word, they were witnesses to the transformation the Holy Spirit can bring about in their lives, and this transformation is clearly so profound that their audience found in their preaching and teaching authenticity, inspiration and a genuine witness to Christ, even more the real presence of our risen Lord.